other side of the course. My mom always says I'm crazy for doing the things that I do, like racing bikes with no brakes. It was like a really loud, really bad crash. You know, I think just as being a mom, she's worried that I'm going to get hurt. It sounded so bad. That was so bad. My job could injure me. Walking down the street could injure me. It's not going to make me change the way I do things. It's war time! War time! Fun, amazing, sometimes boring war time! <laughs> it's a little chaotic here. Um, I woke up this morning, Todd's spin class came here. We're about to race the short line crit, which is in Long Beach. This is our second year racing Long Beach crit as the Aventon team. After this, I'm gonna grab as many people who will come with me, and I'm running the Wings for Life charity run uh, at 4 a.m. That's right, you heard me right, 4 a.m. But before that, you gotta get ready for qualifiers. Makes me nervous every time, but Sarah just says, All you gotta do is ride your bike 45 minutes. You know, a crazy story about Sarah? She got her first bike six months ago. Sorry, you're such a badass. I mean, it's badass pretty badass. Oh, yeah. badass <laughs> what made you get a, get a bike? Kim. <laughs> <laughs> what made you decide to race? Because um, I met Kim and like the week before she went to London Red Hook and she told me about riding brakeless bikes really fast like all this crazy stuff and I thought she was a lunatic and then I saw it in person and all I could think was like where do I sign up so here I am. It's our turn now, gotta put this thing away. Here we go, wish me luck. Happy Mother's Day. How was the race? Gretchen looks like she kicked ass yesterday. Yeah, she did. She She was so far ahead when she came across that finish line. You did you watch the live stream? I did not watch the live stream. Aventon posted her finish. She yeah, she that. she crushed it. Yeah. How what would you what did you place? Oh mom, I didn't finish the race. I got pulled. Yeah. What happened? I don't know. It's a short course. Like, New York's a longer course. So, if you fall off the back and you have people in front that are really, really crushing it, and it's a short course, you get lapped pretty fast. You don't have time to make it up. Yeah. Well, I regret to hear that. I know... You've already dealt with all that in your mind, so I'm gonna stay out of that. We just finished the race. Gretchen over here and Joe, that is first and second place. Race is on right now. Yeah, boys! Oh, shit, that was really close. The men's race had six laps to go. They just neutralized the whole field because apparently there was a crash. Our friend Addison isn't here right now. I really do. We don't. I think I'm gonna go on the other side. Oh, I hope it's okay. I hope it's okay too. Somebody fell on the back and then like it pushed me forward. It sounded so bad. That was so bad. 
Huh? Addison? Addison's no, out. No, uh, Thomas. Is he okay? He no, we don't know. He, when we, we kept going around, he was still on the ground, so I'm hoping he's alright. What do you think, ha what happened? Oh! Oh! What the? That's ass cheek out. Loose cheeks, man. The men's race is on their second restart. Got like twitching legs everywhere. Everyone's getting cold, waiting around. This is gonna be... It's gonna be a rough second start for them. We're gonna do one rolling lap and then race back on. Here come the finishers. Oh! That was an upset! It was not easy. What a race, son. Somebody ran into my back wheel and split my back wheel. That's why I went down. Hey, after the party is the after party. Exactly. Ash, are you gonna do the Wings for Life run with us at 4 a.m.? <laughs> are you? Are you? Fixie Crit is over, but not the after party. Now we're going there, and then we're going to Wings for Life. We're just getting to our hotel room, and uh, Addison got here a couple hours ago. He took a nap. Cheater. Bon, you ready? She's so happy to be running at four in the morning. I hope the rest of my team in Europe and Africa and the US are ready to crush. I think I have some people from Singapore too. What's that? It's an international team. I've got my Star Wars leggings on for the occasion. I look like a real legitimate intimidating runner. We are here at the start line. We made it. There is a lot of colorful teams. We are in black because it's cold and we forgot to wear colorful jackets. Go, 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 go! The catcher car is right behind us! We are running like the zombies are chasing us at this point. Never give up! It's 6 a.m. We ran more or less six miles. Yay, Wings for Life for a good cause. Now it's Mother's Day and I need to call my mother after I nap. I'm so tired right now. I need to, it's, Team Nonstop is now turning into Team Nap. Throw your hands in the sky if you feel alive. Bounce up and down on the floor. Are you having a good Mother's Day? I am. I, I ran Thank for you. I ran for you last night. Okay. I appreciate that. I don't know how you did it after everything else you did, but that was awesome. How is your spine feeling? It's tight, but I mean, it is what it is. Well, right. enjoy your day, Mom. I love you. Love you, too. Bye. Bye. My mom's injury has just shown me that I can't take anything for granted. And my mom's a play it safe kind of woman and she's dealing with this neck injury now that has been debilitating to her and she hasn't been able to do any of the activities she usually likes to do. So it just goes to show that like no amount of playing it safe is going to ensure that you're on your feet and at 100%. It doesn't promise that. A fear of injury can't change the way I live my life because even when you play it safe, you come up across these bumps in the road that you have to deal with no matter what. Um, my job could injure me. Walking down the street could injure me. It's not gonna make me change the way I do things. But if I let those thoughts or fears stop me from doing something I love to do, what would I end up doing? I just hope my mom gets better. She means a lot to me. Shout out to my auntie Nene and my cousin T Row. He in jail. He got life, but he won't be out soon. Yeah. Uh, Fuck you, roll your legs out, fool. <laughs> God damn it. You got five more laps to go, bitch.